You weren't recording that, were you? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> um, no. Okay, Carl, a great result for leaving Lincoln tonight. Certainly, obviously, lots of us overjoyed. We worked really hard on the campaign. Um, lots of us here in Lincoln specifically, but also across Lincolnshire, and for me, right across the East Midlands and elsewhere. Um, obviously, attend a lot of events, whether they be question time events or debates. Uh, and actually, I think most of them have been very good-natured and quite informative for the audiences, whether they were there you know, as a live audience or watching um, on the TV or online, which your good selves at the Lincoln Night obviously did um, when I was up against David Prescott and various others. So um, great that the turnout's so high, but also obviously great that we have a resounding win here in Lincoln. So you must be really pleased with the constituents who've decided to sort of listen to your message loud and clear. Indeed, and actually the, the vote here that was counted at Lincoln City was just the city wards, 11 city wards, not just you know, the whole of my constituency. There's another three areas that um, are part of North Stephen. So it'll be interesting to see, obviously, what the North Stephen result is, as well as the other, obviously, um, counts across Lincolnshire and the East Midlands as well. But here in Lincoln, I think we've done our part for the Leave campaign and we've uh, returned a resounding uh, majority. And um, obviously myself and lots of the other people who were involved from all the different political parties, Labour, UKIP, Liberal Democrats uh, and Independents. I think you saw that from the letter that we, we organised, which had over 30 of the political leaders from across Greater Lincolnshire, um, obviously exhorting people to, to go out and use their vote, but also to vote leave. And how well do you think Lincoln reflects the rest of the country in this result? Well, I think it is. Lincoln's known, you know, as I said, it's not the whole of my constituency, just the city of Lincoln, but it's, it's the vast you know, majority of yeah. it. And we've seen that actually the people of Lincoln have spoken and spoken resoundedly for leaving the EU. And that's what's happened today in the referendum here in Lincoln. Now, we're known as a bellwether seat. Obviously, I know it's a tough fight. It is a marginal seat when it comes to me standing as a Conservative member of Parliament. But I'm very pleased that actually the people of Lincoln have spoken. Um, lots of people came out to vote. Obviously, unfortunately, there's got to be a losing side as well as a winning side. And I'm obviously very pleased that I'm on the winning side this evening. And there's a resounding success here in Lincoln. If this is repeated across the country, where does this leave David Cameron? Well, he's our Prime Minister and he'll carry on being our Prime Minister. You know, the EU referendum is a very important part of every, every issue that's involved in the political spectrum. But it was on a, you know, as part of our manifesto that we stood on as Conservatives just over a year ago. David Cameron promised that we'd have an EU referendum. He's delivered that as the leader of the Conservative Party and our Prime Minister. And myself and the vast majority of my Conservative colleagues will be very happy for David Cameron to continue as our Prime Minister until he decides that, that he doesn't want to be anymore. He's already said he won't be leading us into the next general election, but at some point he'll make a decision that he'll stand down. And let's be honest, you know, he's been the leader of the Conservative Party since 2005. He's been Prime Minister since 2010 at a very difficult time with the Coalition Government. He's now obviously Prime Minister with a majority Conservative Government. You know, it's hard enough being a backbencher, um, as a lowly backbencher, as we say, in a constituency member of Parliament. He's had, you know, two other jobs to do as well for a long time, which he's done superbly and will carry on doing for as long as he wants to. If we do indeed choose to leave the EU this evening, this morning, would you trust David Cameron to lead the negotiations to actually leave well, the I think, EU? Well, I think David Cameron, as the Prime Minister, has got a very important job as Prime Minister, delivering all our other manifesto commitments, but I think what we'd see is hopefully that he'd make sure that the team leading those negotiations are made up actually probably cross-party wise of people who've been involved in obviously the Leave campaign who have Britain's best interests at heart and will make sure that we don't have people who used to work for the EU bureaucracy running those negotiations that perhaps are a little bit um, sitting on a fence maybe when it comes to those negotiations. We need people who, are, who have the right, you know, right soundness of mind who are going to make sure that Britain does get a good deal when we do those negotiations to leave the EU should that be the case obviously as we see the results come in over the rest of this evening. But we have a long way to go as yet. We certainly do. What's your prediction? Um, well, I predicted Lincoln. Um, you know, from, uh, you'd hope that as a Member of Parliament, I know my constituency and the city of Lincoln very well, and I, I was pretty spot on. Um, as far as the country goes, I don't know the rest of the country that well, so we have to see, obviously, the, the vast proportion of our population is centred around London. That is our capital city. There's a whole lot of people voting there because the turnout there is quite high, and obviously those constituency areas um, because they're not just based on Westminster constituencies, they're basically borough councils. But they all have to obviously complete their, their, their counts of the votes and see what the, those results are. Now, we're seeing right across the country, I would say, great swathes of the country are voting, perhaps even more so for, for Leave than perhaps was predicted. But then in London, obviously, if, if they're voting for Remain, those votes have all got to be tallied up, and everybody's vote right across the country is worth the same as anybody else's. So, as I say, we still have a long way to go. There's a lot more votes to be counted. Um, but obviously, you know, at this point in time, I'm confident because Lincoln's delivered what I hoped it would do, which is a majority to vote leave.